fun detail. Uh, page up is my stop and start recording button, which I, which I can't really show right now. But every but this happens every time I record now. Boop. 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 Because uh, the 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 flashlight's assigned to mouse wheel, but it's also assigned to uh to page up apparently. So apparently every time I cut the recording, he's gonna whip his flashlight out. So this will be my a thing I like. You get to do. You get to you get to investigate. You get to talk to people. You get to look around the environment. You get to try to unpack something, and I get to be really worried that I might have missed a detail or something until something else comes up. Centilla to Sentius, may Jupiter, Optimus, Maximus, continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter, and for the lovely birthday pendant. I almost said present. I promise. I promise we'll wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Sentia as my mother. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you will be re-elected, I'm sure of it. Let's double t double check the, uh, yeah, so Sentius adopted Centilla was the the major detail there. <clears throat> so we're, we're, we can try to start unpacking the web of characters. There are 23 in total, unless there's not. Spooky. Spooky. So X. X makes me have butterflies. But I, in fact, I probably, yep, grab my notebook. <clears throat> and get, turn to the page after Elden Ring, which is a dangerous game to play, because I'm pretty sure I'll probably need another page for Elden Ring. <clears throat> Forgotten City. And now I have a journal. I have my journal open to a new page for this game, so I can try to keep notes of things a little bit. Because, uh... Quest tracking. See the markers. Active. Complete. Dying gasp. Lucrezia. So I can do little notes here in my notebook, like, uh... Send... Tilla adopted daughter of Sentius. So <laughs> I keep raising it to press the button, which puts it right by the microphone for effect, I guess. I can actually record those kinds of details, and I could have like 23 character profiles potentially. Hello, Dick. What's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others, and making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. Is Italica big on lean-in philosophy? Uh, how did you get up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets. Shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. His voice is much harder to pick out from the music than every other character, like he's quieter. 
What was the uh, Genentricum future? There was a like it was that was like untranslated, wasn't it? Like that something snuck in there. It was even gray to sit to to point it out specifically. But that other guy said Salvo or something, uh, some Salve, and that wasn't gray, despite also being untranslated, because nobody should be speaking the same language as me here, unless the implication is that I'm always already speaking Italian. Because I'm in Italy, apparently, in real life. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, oh, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centella's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Disappeared. Alright, so Centella is one of the three missing people. What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. What do you do all day? Like legit, what do you what do you do? Are you just on hand in case you gotta fight somebody? Is fighting n not a violation of the golden rule? <laughs> Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Ah. It's the just a summary of every character, isn't it? They the 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 other first listing is is their class. Aurelia the commoner is a tavern keeper. The tavern is in the slum. You guys have a slum? You guys have 20 people and there's a slum? Notes, claims to know a way out. Who wrote that? <laughs> Claudia, class patrician. Duty wife of Malleus. Quarters, Villa, Central, Notes, eh? Decius, Commoner, Merchant, Forum. I... Seriously, why does so many people live in the slum? Why is there a slum? Dulius is a commoner who can't work and is imprisoned in a warehouse. Okay, so all of the women don't have rights and don't do stuff as much and are just supposed to be the wives to people. Uh, and you also have dudes that are in prison. How many people are left to work besides the one farmer? Why do- why is there a guard? What are guards even for? Duty, tavern keeper. Duty, wife. <laughs> Duty, merchant. Duty, guard? Duty, nothing. Duty, vestal priestess. Baker, farmer, merchant. What are all these people merchants? Okay, where are they getting all the stuff? Forage for scrap? Where? Wait. Notes died in Cistern? So Hannibal might be dead. Horatius is a guard. There's two guards? You guys only have like 20 people and two of them work as guards in a place where everyone turns to gold if a sin happens. What is? What do they do? <laughs> Fisherman. Alright, if you can fish, you can probably get out of here. Unless there's a pond that's that big that it has an entire ecosystem on its own. Julia, debt bondsman? You guys have debt? Oh, debt bondsman to Malleus, so you're- they- that means you're like a indentured servant to Malleus? Is that the rule? Hairdresser. Nurse, okay. Money lending in quotes. <laughs> Not to be trusted. <laughs> How do you have a not-to-be-trusted money lender and you don't immediately have a sin happen? What the fuck are sins? Uh... Is that an N? Nivia is a physician who locked herself in the palace? Maybe it cleans in gardens. Is there only one farmer in this entire civilization? Patrol? What is- wait, wait, wait. Increasingly agitated. Patrol! What is Rufius patrol? The slums? Where there's five people? <laughs> Why are there so many guards in this place? <laughs> Two people are pupils, which I guess just means, like... That means that they're, uh... 
like uh, apprentices for tradesmen, but what trades? There's not a lot of trades. There's a nurse and there's a farmer. Everyone else seems to be a merchant. Unless you're underreporting the duties of the merchants and they also, you know, produce the goods in the first place, probably. Since she has been reduced to her, her restricted to her villa for her safety. Sentius is the magistrate. Ulpius is the is another. How many people are bonded to Malleus? Virgil is an architect. Do you, is there a lot of building to get done around here? I think you run out of space. So two. So who, where was Mal Malleus? Patrician money lending air quotes. Yeah, no, that's the that's the one. He seems like a character who is probably a lot reading mode. Oh. That's an option. If nothing else, that, and if nothing else, that, that helps with like localization, I think. But I, I think I prefer the pages for now. Take. Thanks. Of course. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone, and it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like Hundred-Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. It makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. War crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Our worlds are very different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. I mean, I'm with you a little bit in that, like, war is the crime. Can I, I can't I can't pause the game. I was gonna try to rebalance the audio. He's so quiet. Uh, are you saying you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. Which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Let's talk about something else. If you like. Who are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. It's almost hard to get mad at somebody that's doing such a good job at being full of rat cunning, apparently, but committing zero sins along the way, apparently. Can I help? I appreciate the thought, but you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. I'll be going now. All right. Let's see. Adil? Voice. There we go. Pump that shit up. Some of you are getting drowned out with your grumble voices and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Wow, good start. Love you. Love your thing. All your stuff. Oh yeah, the previous thought, like, there's nothing more tragically human than the phrase war crimes, where it's like, we agree that there's probably things that are too fucked up for even war, even though the people deciding what are war crimes are often the people who did the worst things first and then went back to write the rules after they had all the power and so on. But also it's like this tacit admission that no matter how supposedly civilized and, and like, and how much our society progresses and whatnot, we sure as fuck can't stop to having wars, can we? Just can't, can't seem to figure that one out. Just to, so like war is just accepted as this inevitability. So we're like, let's write a few rules about it that will probably be broken anyway. But like that makes us feel better about ourselves that we wrote some rules about how to best do war when the ultimate crime is that the war happened and they're always caused by the shitty people that run the place in the first place. There is basically never like a collective population that's like, I can't wait for war. Let's do it. Like, there's definitely, like, a propaganda approach you can do that, like, rallies your base into, like, going into it. And it's a lot easier to do that if you're attacked in any way. For example, uh, my whole lifetime has been a wave of just, holy shit, America in the 2000s was just a fucking place to live in. Uh, but, like, it's 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 all manipulation. It's all getting people to want to try to get, like, to... It's, it's all a gambit to get people to be in favor of a war that you want for other reasons as the, the power structure in a country. And it's all gross. And we're doing it again in a different way. Not like we specifically, but like, I mean, maybe we will. I don't know where the fuck the current situation is going to be going. But like, the world is doing it again. And it's always stupid. And <laughs> war crimes is just the most depressing sentence because of where it sits in that context of like, I mean, what are we going to do? Just not war? Excuse me, do you know what humans are? What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? There's a Sentia and a Sentilla, apparently. So let's fig get that figured out. Charming. Do you know a way out of here? Oh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Mouth breathers. Uh, can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? There's literally a hole up there. I'm pretty sure there's an exit, technically. Also, like, doesn't everybody kind of want to get out of this place? Like, as much as you want it, as much as it's, like, fun to, to like, wow, it's this beautiful golden paradise, like, there is a, like, 23-way, like, standoff happening at gunpoint where if anyone does anything wrong, everyone else dies. And that has to be incredibly stressful. I would be losing my goddamn mind in here. Uh, wh wh when did you last see her? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms... I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. Was she seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. How many people could even be on the list of mystery men with such a small population? Also, you guys have like a genetic problem down the road with the size of this population. I got bad news for your paradise. Uh, your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. 
like genuine question is incest on the list of sins because you guys have about like two or three generations before it gets really hard to not do that is it possible her lover was involved i don't know but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward that might speak to a guilty conscience all i know is whoever he is he's still here in the city Sentius, Sentia, Sentilla, why are your names all so similar? You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, uh. but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Sentia Minor? What a shitty naming scheme. Oh my goodness. You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. I don't know, she looks like the most fucking perturbed, irritated person I've seen so far, but sure. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know something you're not telling me. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Well, that bluff did not pay off. Back to exploring. Oh, is that a pastry or a pillow? It's a pillow. Actually, I'm not sure. No, I think that's bread or something. It's remarkable how I can keep looking at it and flipping back and forth on whether or not I think it's bread or not. These carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. Is that also arche archaeologist? Or is only the archaeologist ones that say archaeologist, archaeologist? Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's like bread. You have so much food just on hand around. Are you actually going to eat all of this in a timely manner? Like, it's going to spoil. I just live here. Well, would you like to chat? Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Get out, you horrid barbarian! Is haughtiness a sin? Or superiority? Or whatever the right word is? I don't think ha haughty was quite, quite right. Ooh, that's a tripping hazard. Hexagons, like always. Owl, cat, is that a dog or another cat? That's like a goat, bird. That's, they're, that's they're hard to make out a little bit. I know they gave me a marker, but as usual, I'm just gonna explore around. Especially since I wanna get a sense of the setting as opposed to being dragged around. Like, the tour was useless to me. It's like, oh, we're just gonna walk and name places rapidly? I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to, like, experience places to remember them. You can't list things at me. Why are you working out in full armor? Okay. That's a thing you're allowed to do, I guess. I don't know if I advise this. And I'll, I'm still, I have so many questions about what the guards do all day. Like, what they're for. These are pretty grim statues, right? Like, they're distressing. A fair number of them do look like they're, they're distressed and running away or something. But it's like, it's like the further, like, the furthering of the constant gunpoint element of this is that, like, there's all these statues constantly promising you your fate. That's, that's kind of, like, super awful. Sentia's journal. Sentia believes everyone is entitled to their secrets. Oh, I should have read the actual thing. Dear Diary, today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. I know that you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets, Sentia. Yeah, I get a... I don't need you. I don't need your summaries. I'm reading the thingy. At least I don't need the summary first. <laughs> a sculpture of Ares, the Greek god of war, known for the Romans of Mars. A small vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. A brass jar containing some sort of powder for makeup. Hopefully it doesn't have any stipnite in it. Very toxic. It was used in coal. K-O-H-L. 
Here's my weirdly specific memory of things. That is probably not relevant. <laughs> brass mirror. The brass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror, which can be, which has been used for applying makeup. That's because they didn't because they didn't they didn't they didn't have any real mirrors yet, basically, or mirror mirrors as we know them. I mean, anything that's reflective, like that's probably technically uh, a mirror and whatnot. <laughs> I see the steal button. I see the everybody dies button. Makes me wonder if I should test it just to see what happens, you know? Those carrots are purple, and they were before modern orange carrots. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. <laughs> Y'all are fucked. You guys have some problems. You got you guys have some social blind spots. Can't. Can I get over here? I can. I just gotta do a little hop. Nope, I can't get over. There's an invisible wall. They don't wanna... That Im <gasps> That's where you buy the boss armor after you kill the boss! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's just Sentius. Oh, He's just walked around a little bit. Do I have new dialogue with you because of discoveries? Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? What's your story? Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name, though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome, helping protect civilization from the barbarians. What's a decurion? It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. Why are you still wearing it? As magistrate, I usually wear a toga, but today I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you, so it seemed prudent. Ah, that's a fitting description about what might go wrong. Although, why do you need armor to defend against the golden rule? I have questions about how you think it works, considering you have to, you yourself are still guessing. How'd you end up here? My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. How did you come to be magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Let's talk about something else. Very well. Do you know a way out of here? If I did, I'd have led these people out of here already. So you agree that bad, okay. Despite the paradise and all that, it's like... There's a, there's, there's a threat. The Sword of Damocles and whatnot. I can name, we just keep referencing like 20 different fitting elements of like of the terrifying context. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real enemy in this place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? Never mind. 
Why then did you say, um, it doesn't matter. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Listen, the game gave me the option. <laughs> I didn't know exactly if it was going to be an accusation, but you know. I was hoping to ask you questions about my investigation. Ask then. Never mind. Good. Now, was there some... I'll better get back to it. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. We had a new secondary tree of dialogue once he becomes a normal NPC and not the intro dude. Oh. All coals. It's a beautiful setting. Its color scheme is well beyond what I'm used to from the opening hours of Skyrim, which is always when I get bored and stop playing Skyrim. <laughs> Like, all right, there's dragons, which is the least interesting fantasy creature, and there's a giant gray snowy mountain full of wolves, and everyone's everyone's boring me, and the place is boring to look at. And I came here from Oblivion, which was very pretty by comparison, and then I always kind of just I, there's always this I always get a, a session or two deep, and then I never launched again because it just wasn't it never pulls me in. Fresh me, huh? All right. You're surprisingly flexible with the weird giant, like, I'm the, I'm the BDSM class from a Souls game helmet. <laughs>